Dear friends, welcome to Friday Focus on Friday the 5th of November. Gunpowder, treason and plot. Well, uh, thank you so much uh, to everybody who wrote to Cheltenham Borough Council to oppose the sexual entertainment licence request at the Two Pigs that the licensing committee heard on Wednesday evening. I was able to speak at the meeting, as was Maggie Stewart of the Gloucestershire Rape and Sexual Abuse Centre, known as GRASC, and this is the gist of what I said. We are living in a time when unwanted sexual attention against women is being increasingly exposed and called out. The Me Too movement is highlighting the horrific stories of the survivors of sexual violence and is challenging attitudes that lead to sexual abuse. Christians believe that everyone, religious or not, is made in the image of God and is worthy of the utmost respect and care. We do not think that a club in which men fueled with alcohol are encouraged to watch women removing their clothes in sexually provocative manner shows such respect to women. On the contrary, it objectifies them and it puts other women in the vicinity of the club at risk of unwanted sexual attention. Many women in our church community avoid the town centre and especially the Minster Churchyard during race weeks because they feel unsafe and they fear sexual harassment from drunk men. This is supported by the recent survey conducted by the council, which found that 75% of residents do not feel safe in the town centre during race weeks, 82% of women have suffered some form of sexual harassment and 32% sexual assault. There is now a burden of proof on the borough council to show how granting a sexual entertainment license for the two pigs will not make this shameful situation even worse. As part of the Minster Exchange development, we have been working closely with the Borough Council to redesign the churchyard to make it lighter, brighter and safer, free from many of the antisocial activities that currently take place there. These activities are much more prevalent during race weeks and we believe are linked to the sexual entertainment at the Two Pigs. The granting of this licence undermines the Council's plans to make the churchyard safer for the residents of Cheltenham. I urge the committee to reject this application. Well, I'm sorry to report that the committee decided unanimously to approve the renewal of the licence. This was because none of the grounds for objection were considered valid under the current legislation. In particular, so-called moral objections, as mine and Maggie's were considered to be, are invalid, and they felt that there was insufficient evidence to link increased violence against women during race week to the sexual entertainment at the Two Pigs. They considered that if a licence was not granted to the Two Pigs, pop-up sexual entertainment venues, which are not regulated, would take its place. Well, although the decision is disappointing, I felt that we were, we were heard with respect alongside GRASC, opposing sexual intimidation and violence against women. It is depressing that the Borough Council is not prepared to stand against this stain on our town, but let's pray on and I will eject again in a year's time. And there is a report on the committee's meeting um, in the link on today's update. Let me finish with uh, a verse from Jeremiah chapter 29, verse 7. Seek the welfare of the city where I have sent you into exile, and pray to the Lord on its behalf, for in its welfare you will find your welfare. God bless you today.